Would you do 15 for the two on these? Hey, welcome back to Cooking the Haydens. I'm Car Boot Chris, and uh, we're here off to uh, the Runcorn Car Boot Sale again. It's a monthly boot sale. It's in a car park. It's undercover, so it's all good. And um, I'm going with Steve and Lana. So it's Movie Chats on YouTube, and also Life in the First Lane on YouTube. If you want to give them a follow, um, we're going to go together and see what we can find. So we'll see you there. I'll take these two, please. Okay, you can. How's your hand? Is? How much you got on those, please? I'll take them. Could you coat, please? Three. Three. I'll take that one, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. How much is your plus? Three. I'll just take this one, please. There you go. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Thank you, cheers. How much are your dinosaurs, please? Eight each. Eight each. Yeah. About this fella. There's a fiver at the minute. The old. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Got in your bubble head? Three. Okay. These eight. These eight, is it? See what else she got. Yeah. 
25 that night. That was 30. Yeah. And then that's close to. What's that from, do you know? I'm going to say no. How much is it? It's three pound in there as well. Yeah. He Batman? A couple of quid because he's obviously he's a bit warm. Yeah. That one there. Like a mouse, that's a couple of quid again. Right, what do you want for those then if I include them? Right, well, three six, four, ten, eighteen, twenty-three. Fifteen quid. Okay, let's do it. Thank you, mate. Appreciate that. Just a socket in it. Right. Fifteen. That's brilliant. Thank, that. you, Thank you. you very much. I'll have a look, another little look, see if there's anything else. What you got in your wrestlers? Two pound each, three for a five. Up. Okay. There's another box full there as well. Oh, blimey, yeah. Yeah, got some good stuff. Kids not interested anymore. Hey. So the kids aren't interested no. in this anymore. How much is this one? 45 on that. Complete with all these accessories and everything. What about your anime? They were £8 each. Hello, mate. How are you doing? Sorry, mate. My name's Liam. Hi, Hi, Liam. You're on YouTube, right. mate. Oh, thanks, mate. Appreciate it. It's like heaven, these kind of stores oh, to me. Tell me about it, mate. Spend a fortune. I <laughs> know, yeah. I'm sure you do. No, sorry, I haven't. Uh, five of each, mate. Five of each? Yeah. Fancy, fancy a tenner? Yeah? Cool. Thank, Thank you, you very much, mate. Cheers. No Cheers. Thank you. Nice see you, mate. Chris. Have a look. Twice, twice, and he sings. Does he move? Does his mouth, mouth move? Moves. Yeah, he sings. He sings different. Just 
Can you take four quid on me? Yeah, cool. Nice one. It lights up? Yeah, the eyes glow. <laughs> ah. Would you do 15 for the two on these? Is that okay? Yeah. I like those. There you go. Cheers. Thank you. I might have this one yet. Uh, yeah, I'll take that one. Would you be interested if I took them all at two pound each? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. Yeah. Thank you. We've got a bundle. Yeah. Um, about £4. Pounds. £4. Pound. Yeah. So, all the plushies and the snitch. Yeah, about £4. Pounds. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. One, two, three, four. Thank you, cheers. Is your toy? That was three quid. Three. <laughs> this one? Do you do three each on them? Okay. Yeah. Can I take these three, please? Uh, have you got bags or do you like? I've got bags. 
Would you like another one? Uh, no, I'm alright actually. I think I'm okay. You sure? Yeah. <laughs> I've got this one here, I'm just trying to... Just stuff them banging together. I'm going to put one in each one, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, I've got toys and stuff in there, so... That's fine. Yeah, no problem. How much is it? Can't say no at that. That's neat. Right, thank you, I love that. Take three quid on it, mate. Yeah, come on. Nice one, cheers. Yeah, Optimus Prime. Yeah, it's in since it's past it. Looks cool. That. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Two quid. How much did you pay for that? Two. Two. I didn't have a clue what it was, and the lady just said, Oh, stick your hand in. Yeah. <laughs> it's neat, isn't it? How much is that? How much you got on it? Tenner. 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 Yeah. Do you go to seven? I'll do eight, Sonic. It is brand new. Go on, I'll take it. <laughs> what you got on your figures? Down there, the one five hundred feel for that lot. Ah, okay. How much is your mug? Fiber, no. Fiber maker, she's a genuine Star Wars. Take four quid on it. Ah, you won. It's funny, yeah. Ship for the way. Yeah, that's it, innit? If you look in the box there, there should be some bubble wrap as I put it in. Where? Down here? Lovely. Oh, thanks very much. I know that's it. There's your four foot. Thank you, mate. Thanks for that. Oh, it's there. It's right underneath. Can you do any less on him? I can't on them. No. No. Maybe twelve. 
Go on, I'll take him. Well, that was Runcorn car boot sale, and it is turning out to be a pretty good car boot sale, that one. Um, this is everything we got, much more than I remembered buying, actually. I just messaged uh, Stephen Lana and said, I took a picture and uh, I kind of just said, I bought way more than I remembered. Um, so we're going to go through it all now. A um, couple of things to remember, two good things really. I was really trying to focus today on picking up stuff that was suitable for Christmas, toys, and also stuff that is suitable for my whatnot, toys. So we did well in that respect. Right, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start over here because this thing is going to get knocked off if I'm not careful. It's Porg from Star Wars. Are you impressed that I knew that name? I uh, had to look it up, to be fair. I cheated. Um, I paid £4 for that. I think that's worth around £20. i put that on the floor. Right, I've got a couple of these things. I tend to pick up these old vintage uh, electronics. These are a pound each. I wouldn't have paid any more than that because... Uh, they can be hit and miss. Sometimes they're not working. The batteries have leaked, blah de blah um, The spell checker, I think, could be worth about 20 But the language uh, translator thing, maybe around 10 So not huge money in them. I might even actually sell them together. The fact that they are boxed really helps the price. So always remember that. Um, if I'm going to put them together, I might do £30 on the two. Um, Big Steve uh, picked up a couple of wrestlers for me. And um, donated them to my whatnot, which will be good. Um, that will go in my whatnot supply. So thank you, Steve. And what else have we got? Let's move to this. Now, this was with Chucky. Can you see Chucky there? Um, so I got Chucky and I got this skeleton cat for £15. They wanted 15 and 5 but I did a deal at 15 for the pair. Now, I wasn't sure if this was like out of anything or if it's just a Halloween decoration. I don't know. You let me know. Do you think it's out of like anything like a horror film? I don't think it is. I think it's probably just. I mean, it's pretty good. Wait until I show Cookie that in a minute. Um, it is still pretty nice. I really do like it. I might as well go and get the Chucky. Look, you see what I mean? Stuff's going everywhere. Thought it would be the mug that went. Um, let me show you Chucky, because this is quite nice. I don't know if this is like official or anything. Um, I can't find anything like marking-wise on it. It's just got good guys on the sole. So I'm going to have to do some research on this. But it's made of, it's, it's like made of like a weird foam. And it's pretty big, uh, but it is nice. I do like it, and that's why I paid sort of £10 for that, uh, along with the £5 skeleton cat. They kind of go well together. Um, yeah, I need to look this up to see if it's official or even if there's any value to it. If not, it's going to look great in my collection somewhere, you know, up there or something. I don't know, but either way, it's good. It might even just go straight on whatnot and let the people decide if they like it or not. Uh, what else should we get? We got a high school musical uh, LCD game. 2007, so it's not super old. It's retro. Paid £3. I've not actually... Uh, I've not looked this up, um, so I'm not sure on the value of it. I'm going to hazard a guess... £15. That's my guess. Uh, where should we go? Um, I did a bundle deal. There was a chap who had some really great figures. Uh, Steve pointed out his stall to me and I did a quick march back to have a look. And we did a bit of a deal on a little bundle. So we got this um, uh, Kong type gorilla. I don't know exactly what this is from. It's 2009. So we picked him up. 
Um, we also got the Indominus Chomper. So when I say chomping, he chomps basically like that. Um, I think he's worth uh, 20 to 25 pound. There's evidence of sales around that price. So that's not bad. I'll tell you what I paid for all these in a minute, but you probably know anyway. I picked up this thing. I don't know what it's from. Um, I've not got a clue what that's from. I need to do a Google image search on that one, but that came as part of the deal. So we've got the Kong, we've got the Jurassic, we've got the flying birdie thing. What else did we get? Uh, oh, we got, I think this came in as well, the bobblehead. I think that's going to be sort of... 10 to 15 pound and it's perfect for whatnot so who knows what they go for sometimes they go for less sometimes they go for more depending on who's in the room uh, and we've got this really nice uh batman it's it's a really good quality figure it's a bit like the, the marvel selects but obviously this is dc uh the only issue with it a bit of wear on his head but um i guess you could color that in quite easily really if you wanted to and um, that came as part of the deal. I think that lot came to £15. So he did me a real nice deal. I think it was sort of £23. And then he knocked it down to 15 which was good. So some nice figures there for my WhatNot channel. I picked up this one here. I probably paid too much for this. But I got a bit carried away because I really like the look of it. Captain America Cos Rider. Um, it's new in box. And it's got the insert coin coin there in the corner i thought this was really nice he wanted 10 pound for it he settled for eight um value wise i think this i mean there are some crazy prices on this actually on ebay but in the reality of the sales sits around 20 to 30 pound so i'm not going to lose on it and um yeah i'm happy with it because it's it's quite an unusual item so sometimes you have to pay up to get some nice bits which is fine um what else should we do let's oh i've got a mcfarlane uh i think this is spawn he's a clown i think it is a spawn figure it is mcfarlane he's almost certainly missing some accessories or a stand because he's got holes in his feet which suggests that comes with a stand but it even as it is it's still a really nice figure I paid £3 for it, and I would think 20 25 maybe, but it depends what it's missing and how much it's missing, but as a standalone figure, it's still quite nice, I think. Clowns always do well anyway. I uh, got this Biker Mice from Mars. I actually bought this for Steve because uh, I thought, I don't know why. I think the guy in the stall said, said that it was... Um, Biker Mice from Mars, but then I had it in my head that I'd picked up um, um, Bucky O'Hare. I don't know why. I can't explain it. But anyway, it's Biker Mice from Mars. Cost me like £2. What else we get? Let's go to these. I bought all these um, on the stall. She had this box of mystery minis and they are all opened unfortunately they're opened and resealed and there's markings on the back to tell you which figure is in the box like here you can see a little cross there that she's done so she knows what's in what um she wanted three pound each on these i offered a two pound each in order to take all of them and that was okay so that was 18 pound for these and these are perfect for whatnot um I might open them up again and take them out of the boxes to display them. But uh, sales-wise, you know, it's hard to tell when you're auctioning things, but like the zombies might go for a bit more than the standards. I might do two for two for one. So it could be maybe £10 for two, something like that. That would be okay. And what else we got? Um, we got a Christmas decoration. Um I've had these before. I seem to pick these up every year. This was £4. These normally go, depending on which one you get, these can normally go for about 25 which would be all right. Um, I got three um, Christmas 
plushes, Mickey and Minnie's. These are all Disney stores. So this one's a 2016. This one's a 2019. And this one is 2018. These cost me, I think, £3 each from different stalls. Um, they should they should get me sort of ten to ten to fifteen pound each, I would think. On an auction. Um I got this toad stall. Quite a large plush, uh, Mario plush. It's one of these that's got little bits of polystyrene inside. So it's not like super soft, but it's got the polystyrene bits. Uh I think this was three pound and um, I think that could be worth fifteen, fifteen pound ish. Um, we also got a donation from Steve, who kindly picked up some duck race prizes. So if you follow this channel, or if you would like to follow the channel, um, we do duck races live on a Monday night on our uh, Monday night reseller world show, and you can win prizes that people donate. And this is going to be a future prize. So thank you, Steve. Uh, we've got an egg cup duck and we've got these two mini duck things little little ceramic ducks so they can go with that and that will be a future prize on the channel so if you don't want to miss out on duck races and live shows make sure you subscribe it's as easy as that really um right let's go to these because i've never seen one of these um it's an Optimus Prime toy, right? But I didn't know what it was when I picked it up. And the lady kindly told me to put my hand inside. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do it, am I, one-handed? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm going to try and prop the phone up somewhere. I'll put it under my neck. How about that? Let's see. If I drop this and smash my phone, I'm going to kill you all. Right, so you put your hand in. And it turns into a gun. Oh, sorry. I don't even know if you managed to see that. Uh, it turns into this gun. And you can put um, little soft pellets in the end and shoot them. And um, I got, I actually, I've never seen one of these. And nor is Steve, and he's a big Transformers fan. And then I saw another one on another stall. So, like buses, you never see one and two come along at once. Um, so this is nice, isn't it? Um, I bought them both. One was £2, one was £3. I think they're worth about £15 each. Something like that. Maybe a bit more on an auction. Who knows? But um, unfortunately, they don't have the pellets, but they do seem to work. Uh, so let's move these out of the way. I've got a lot to get through. I didn't realise that I bought so much stuff. Um, let's do the li the tiny, tiny bit of clothing that I did buy. Uh, I've got two North Face t-shirts. Look like they're in quite nice condition. They're XL, but I bought them thinking, oh, if they fit me, I'll probably keep them. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to try them on. If I'm selling them, I think... They're worth about fifteen pound each. I might even sell them as a pair, like a double, a double set, because they're both XLs. So um, you know you could get two for one. So I paid four pound each for them. Um, I think they're worth about fifteen each. So sell them together, thirty quid. And I got a Jules coat. Um, I think this was three pound. What size is it? A UK eighteen. Uh, it looks to be in um, fairly decent condition with just some light wear. And um, these are norm these can be worth maybe £25, £30. Uh, I got some really nice Reebok Classic sort of mid um, trainers. And the design on this, this is a collaboration with Alicia Keys. A little bit of a scuff on the back there. But yeah, this is a collaboration. I just like the look of them and they wouldn't budge on price. It was up for £15. So I, in the end, I just paid 15 for them. And um, I might be able to get 50 to 60 on these. That would be nice. Somewhere somewhere around that. Um, there's not really much listed in the UK. They all, all seem to be in the US for obvious reasons. But um, what size are they, by the way? I think they are a UK 8. 
Yeah, I think it's a UK 8, but um, a nice, interesting pair of trainers. Sometimes you do have to pay up for stuff. Um, what have we got here? A 1950s Wonder and Vision um, Funko Mini Moments um, set. £3 paid. It's not worth huge money, 10 to £15. We also got this Howard the Duck um, uh, oversized pop figure. I do like Howard the Duck, although I've never actually seen Howard the Duck, I don't think. Or was he, in, was he in Guardians of the Galaxy once? He might have been. I've not seen him in a Marvel film, but uh, I like him from the standalone film. This might be a keeper for me, to be honest. Um, the box is a little bit damaged, a little bit battered. Um, I paid Fiverr as part of a uh, bundle deal. I think I paid £10 for two items, and so that made this a Fiverr. And uh, probably worth about 15 if I was to sell it. Who's that? That's scary, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we've got some Harry Potter stuff. We've got five plushes. And uh, a golden snitch, which I've had one of these before. We put it on whatnot and auctioned it off. I uh, paid £4 for that little bundle. And I think the snitch may be 10 to £15. And these may be similar if we... We do that in a bundle. Uh, I've got three figurines, uh, ceramics. Um, I bought these on a charity store, so I just thought I'd pick something up from them. Um, they are made by Porcelain Miguel Riquin or something. Uh, they're not worth huge money. They cost me £2 each, and I think I might just sell them as a set for 30 and finally, I've got these two large Sully and Mike plushes. They are pretty big. Uh, young lad wanted five quid for the pair, £2.50 each. So I paid that. And um, I think maybe £15 each on those. So that's everything today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe or give us a thumbs up at the very least if you've enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to put two little videos here that might interest you. Uh, feel free to click and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.